And welcome back to Ask Coach Russell. I'm Dave Erickson here side by side with Matt Russell, who is on his trainer right now. But today's topic has to do with running and track workouts. And Matt, you come from a a running background. Um, Talk about how you incorporate speed work on the track to increase your overall speed as a runner. So when you do um, track workout, everyone thinks with track, oh, you're going to run, be running fast. And uh, the nice thing about the track is it's a really controlled environment. So you can really um, monitor each lap, um, you know, with whatever watch that you have and a heart rate monitor as well, which is great. So that being said, I've done a ton of track workouts in high school and in college. Um, and with that being said, it, it's different from running track for a cross country or track and field versus running on the track for a, um, a triathlon. And the reason why I say that, um, as a runner, you're going to be doing a lot more repeats and a lot harder because running's your only discipline. With triathlon, you have to focus on cycling and swimming as well. So it's a whole balance. Um, having that balance, you don't want to bury yourself on the track. Uh, I like doing... Um, a good workout is building, um, like you could say, do thousand um, thousand meter repeats. So that's two and a half laps on outdoor track. Um, start out, you could do two to three, and build to five or six. Now these aren't going to be workouts that you're hunched over, killing yourself. Um, the goal of the workouts is you're stressing your body to push at a stronger pace, at a faster pace than than uh, what you're gonna be doing out on in a triathlon. So after you recover from that, you're going to benefit from it because let's say your average pace running in a certain triathlon is eight and a half minutes. Well, if you're doing workouts on the track that are right around seven minutes, you're gonna be able to slowly close that down. So track workout helps your your uh, your tempo workout and usually tempo is roughly what you're going to be racing in a triathlon depending on the distance how often during your uh, training week would you incorporate a track workout or is it a certain type of the se- time of the season that you do those things you know that's something you can do a variety of different different ways but a way that I like how, how I like to do it is um, first building a base so not not necessarily touching the track right away and then once you get on the track looking at you know one day a week um, and that one day a week you're doing the track workouts and then I like to do another workout that's tempo so track workout workouts help your tempo and then your tempo workouts help your long run so a typical training schedule for um, running for workouts is on Tuesday it's a track workout Thursday it's a tempo workout and then on uh, Sunday is usually your long run and in between there it's just kind of fillers and you're just uh, running at um, endurance effort okay. and just for clarity the difference between a, a what's a tempo run versus a, a uh, endurance run? So a great way to figure out um, your zones are to, well, first do a, um, a, uh, a max um, effort run, such as a two mile time trial on the track or a um, 5K running race. And then once you determine your max heart rate, um, you can figure out what zones you need to be in. So endurance effort is usually, they consider zone two, which is usually, um, there's different um, areas, but usually right around 60 to 72%, right around there for your easy runs. And then moving into tempo, you're looking at closer to 85% of your max heart rate. Well, you are the expert when it comes to running. I know based on your, your background and your, your 
awards in the past. You got a question for for Matt? Use the hashtag Ask Coach Russell on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube, and we could feature that question on an upcoming episode. Matt, thanks for a lot, and uh, enjoy the rest of your ride. Thank you.